beginning where we left off, um, I was going to add a title and I have already um, and I'll show you kind of how all of this works. One thing I wanted to mention because I don't think I mentioned it before was I mentioned it in previous videos but not the last one and so because I want you to really understand Premiere, how would we, if we didn't see this line, how would we turn it on, this volume rubber band which is also a video rubber band as well. So what we would want to do is we would want to go into this little wrench and you want to make sure show video keyframes and show audio keyframes are both on. If they're off, you don't see them. They're still functioning, but you don't see them and you can't adjust them. So make sure show audio keyframes is on to adjust your audio. Now what I've done is I've brought it down while they're talking and up for the credits and then down again. So let's start off with the credits um, and then we'll talk about other ways that you can create um, graphics for the title. Okay, but let's start off here. So what I have here is this. So how did I make rolling credits? Okay, what I'm going to do is I will actually turn these off. I delete this and start over so you can see what I did. So I am here in Window, Workspaces, Captions and Graphics. This is a nice easy way to deal with making such a uh, rolling credit. And if you are familiar with older versions of Premiere, the legacy title creator is no longer in existence at all. So you have to make rolling credits a different way and it's they're kind of weird. Um, there are some possible templates already made but to make them from scratch it's not really hard. Put your playhead where you want them to start. It's a little weird though so pay attention. I'm going to use the type tool. I'm going to click here and I'm going to type written Oops, sorry, and directed by Jordan Lebowitz. And then I could dub the space space, edited by Jennifer Fenton. Okay, so that's pretty nice, but I want to, you know, make it look a little better. So I'm going to center it here center it so I centered it within itself and now I'm going to align it horizontally so it looks nice and of course I can change the fonts I can change the colors I can do all kinds of things with it but now what I want to do is go uh, first of all well, where is it in the timeline I'm going to zoom all the way in and you'll see that it's really tiny and it put it on v1 I want it on v2 so I'm going to move it over to v2 Remember, you never want your titles, as I said with the kids video mashup, you never want your titles and credits on video track one. You want them on video track two or above so that they're more organized and easier to deal with. So now it's nice and long. Um, it'll start off very, very small, so you have to zoom in and find it and drag it out. Um, and now what I'm going to do, because it's not really moving, it's just sitting there, right? It's, uh, I want it to roll, okay? So I'm going to put my playhead right back there. And I'm going to click on Vector Motion. As soon as I click on Vector Motion, and please pay attention here, this turns blue, so it's no longer red in editing mode. And now all I have to click, I have to do in my edit is the, the window completely changes and allows me to click on Roll. And now I can do a pre-roll, I can do all kinds of things here, start off screen, end off screen, and now it's going to work perfectly to roll. Okay, and if I wanted it to roll longer, all I have to do is drag it out and it will roll more slowly. And then in that case, I might want to bring my audio out, right? Now remember, you're doing all the way up to page uh, six. So this is just to show you how to do everything. See these keyframes? I'm going to select both of them by clicking on the first one, turning it blue, clicking on the second one, turning it blue, and dragging them together 
So now it's going to fade out a bit later because I need my credits run roll more slowly. So let's take a look. That seems to work better with the speed of the whole thing. And I also want to be able to, um, let's use the pen tool to fade out here. So click here. Now you can use other effects to do this, which you'll learn about soon if you don't know them already. Um, there are tons and tons of effects in Premiere. But so now I have a nice fade out. Okay, so that's the end. That's the rolling credits. Now, how did I get this title here, which I haven't worked with yet? The way to do that in Essential Graphics, and let's save Command S, is to go to Browse and to go to Adobe. I think this is Adobe Stock. And there are free, let's see, I'm just trying to, oh geez, trying to move it over so you can see this, but this is Adobe Stock, okay? Um, and if you click on free, there's premium, which you can pay for, but if there's, if you want free, you have five pages of different kinds of cool title templates, as opposed to just making it yourself. So I chose fast action neon title overlay. I thought that would be fun and kind of cheesy for bingo night, but now I need to edit it. So I click over here and by the way, you drag it before I do that. You drag it straight from here over to wherever you want to put it, okay? And then you edit it, okay? And it will take a little while while you drag it to because it's downloading from the internet, from Adobe Stock. Okay, so now I open up Global Controls, Text Controls, Main Text, and then there's a Subtext. So as you can see, these are the properties and it says Fast Action. So I'm gonna change that to Bingo Night. And as you can see, you can change the colors. You can do all kinds of great things. Now, there's a secondary title there. So let's close this. Oh, you know what? I think also Bingo Night's too big. So we're going to put Night on the second level. There we go. That's going to look better. Bingo Night. Perfect. And then Subtext. Well, we don't really need it. So just maybe Bingo Night. And then if we wanted, we could adjust this. Let me see if I can bring it down. Now, I am not sure. It might actually look good just how it is. But global position on the y-axis, I think it can be. Now, oh, here we go. I brought it down to about, yeah, there we go. Because I didn't have that second title, I don't need it to be so high up. So let's go to about 630. That's probably pretty good. Bingo night. And now in order to see this properly, I have to render it. So I'm going to go up to, let's make sure I've selected it. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it here. Render and replace. I don't want to really render and replace. Let's see here, it's acting a little buggy. Well, let's go back to, let's see. Ah, here we go, render effects. I'll do render selection and that because it is selected right now. Okay, so it has to render all 191 frames of this template from Adobe Stock, which once again is free. So this is going to take some time. Um, and once it's done, it's going to play really nicely. So that's how to get your, um, your titles nicely into your sequence. Um, after this is done, I would probably want to mark um, right here, you know, fade this in, put a, a keyframe here, a keyframe here, drag this one down to fade in maybe drag down here, but I do actually want to hear him talking right away, so maybe not. Um, but this really is giving you some control. And remember, we have our nice L cut here as well. So it says it's going to take about 13 minutes. So I will stop 
right now and then I'll make another video showing you more information just about how to uh, just more tools, more skills.